They won't have anything this year? They can't pass the football. That's not going to change. I appreciate you being here. How you doing? Good. Oh, thank you. We started our academic achievement program. They've been in school for a couple weeks. Right now, they're not getting a lot of grades, or graded papers. Uh, but they've all, you know, the ones indicate uh, how many A's that have been coming home. You know, like this guy got five this last week. Uh, what we're looking at in terms of conduct in school, if you get an N, that means needs improvement and you got concerns. Uh, S is for satisfactory. Sometimes they get an S plus. E is for excellent, and that's what we're doing. When you look at the helmets, like you look at 55 on that right side by the stripe, he's got four A stickers. So the red ones are the grades. If you get one or more A's, you're going to get a red sticker. The great thing about this year is, in years past, we're starting with some ends up here. Right. Yeah. And and uh, some of the guys that had those, I mean, they're in the news right now. So, you know, the fact that they've been involved with this for a few years, they're, they're getting with the program. You know, all we have to do is just keep, you know, reminding them and stressing them to just do this. So, it's a good deal. A gentleman, some of you met last year. Dorsey Levin, former NFL player, all pro player. I mean, he's been an all star. That's football all star, all pro. Super Bowl champion, I believe, 1997 with the Green Bay Packers. Played with Brett Favre and a bunch of other Hall of Famers. Yeah, that's some serious stuff, gang. All right. And uh, Mr. Levins came out to talk to you guys. Like last year, and uh, glad you're here. Appreciate it. More is yours, sir. How you guys doing? Good to see you guys again. If you don't remember, I was here last year. You guys were in your quest for the blue trophy. Uh, said a few words to you guys. Congratulations, first and foremost, for winning the championship last year. That's awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause. Congratulations on your academic achievements and excellence. Uh, one thing that I always know about the game of football is that being smart in the classroom carries over to being smart on the football field. So I wasn't surprised when Mr. Castro told me you guys won a championship because I know what kind of work you guys do in the classroom, so you know it's going to pay off on the football field. Smart players win most of the time. So like I said, congratulations. Congratulations for getting off to a great start this past weekend, triple overtime against Grayson. Congratulations on that as well. Off to a great start. I see uh, the school year is ready to win probably the biggest game in the regular season. Triple overtime. When was uh, Jalen Magdy? Oh, Jalen! Jalen! See, look at that, man. You can't shout out. No, he's angry. Oh, okay. Well, I, I saw uh, Coach show me a list, and he had five A's on there. I just want to give him a shout out because that's excellent. And all you guys who have A's. <laughs> and he had 102 on us. On the other guys got got one. Congratulations! Uh, that is, that's totally awesome. Uh, I, I really just want to say, man, keep up the great work. You know, especially in the classroom, because the classroom work is going to go way beyond your playing days, way beyond you're done playing football. Whether you're finishing high school, whether you're finishing college, whether you're done in the pros. Football doesn't last forever, so you got to do something once you're done playing football. So an education is going to carry you to that next level to be able to do what you want to do and make the kind of money you want to make. Let's face it, guys. The guys with the most money get the cutest chicks. So, we got to make sure we make some money, right? Right. What college did you go to? Georgia Tech. I started off at Notre Dame. I was there for two years and transferred to Georgia. Jail and Magby, sir. Jalen, congratulations, man. I saw you got five A's. Just want to give you a shout out. What you going to do? Hope you feel better too. You got to get an ankle. Ankle. He's gonna he's gonna be on the IR for about two weeks. <laughs> yeah, about two weeks. Nah. You gonna be in the place, Adam? 
Oh, he said he'd be ready Saturday. Okay. He said he'd be ready Saturday. All right. Um, listen up. So, yeah, in a nutshell, guys, basically what I wanted to say was keep up the good work, man. Uh, you know, on the class, in the classroom especially, but out here on the football field as well. I know you guys really enjoyed being champions last year, right? It's a great feeling. But with the championship comes that every other team in the league knows that you guys won a championship last year and they want what you guys have. So maybe a little bit a little bit tougher than it was last year to get the championship this year. What do you guys think about Grayson? They played you guys pretty tough, right? Oh yeah. They want what you guys want. You took it from them last year. <laughs> you can get that from a lot of other teams that you guys play this year because they want to be where the champions are. Alright? I'm not gonna hold you guys up for too long. Congratulations once again. Keep up the good work. Let's bring it in one time for me. All right, all right. Come on. Under feet, under feet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And, and keep getting the A's on your helmet. I won't be able to, uh, uh, I do some broadcasting for ACC football, so I'm going every Saturday. But I will be checking in with Mr. Castro to see how you guys are doing on the football field and see who's got the most A's on the helmet. I can carry the whole All right, teamwork on three. One, two, three. Teamwork! Oh my God! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just got pushed back on Thanksgiving weekend. That's come out. Uh, Thanksgiving weekend. October 26th. They're playing the Rams and the Patriots. I'm coming to the game. It's a British match. Maybe we can those guys play in London on October 26th. They're moving back. So yeah. I'll, I'll let y'all know. I'll keep y'all posted. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Yeah. Hey, I always appreciate you coming out, boy. Anytime, you got back in those stellar shape, ain't you? No, I ain't. Well, not that football shape, but I can jog. Right, yeah. Yeah. I can jog all day, so I do that a lot. <laughs> try, to stay, try to stay slim. Steve, let me meet you. Likewise. So really, there's, there's no food. I'm on a Thursday. There's food. Right? Thursday. Yes, come back on Thursday. Uh, we have popsicles. Of course, no, which is what he promised me if I came out here today. Okay. We have hidden carbs for the red hair. Okay. And just dessert. So that's the only We have that covered and drinks. And bread. And we have bread. Of course. I've got it covered. Any Thursday, any Thursday. Any Thursday, you're available. <laughs> 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 Feed our boy.